Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do ground check in Unity as well as how to make multiple jump system. So let's begin. In Unity, I have prepared a simple scene in which we have two game objects one of them is a platform which act as our ground it, it has a rigid body 2d a box collider and the player which has also a rigid body 2d a box collider and the player script in which we are going to make the jump functionality so you would ask an obvious question question what is colliders so in a nutshell colliders are components of the game object in which they make collision possible so we got two game objects both of them have colliders so they're going to be a collision between them so going to the code i'm going to make two variables one of them is a rigid body 2d we'll call it player rb and the other one is a box collider 2d we'll call it box collider so you may be asking yourself why didn't i make a public variable and modified it through the editor so as a rigid as 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 an object oriented kind of good practice we are not going to make things public so making things public is actually quite bad because you don't want people messing up with your code so it's better to make it private now here i made the two variables and i I'm going to make now a method. We will say private pool and we'll call it is grounded. I'm going to use a very handy method called raycasting. So raycast is basically an invisible line that sh that shoots from a point. Uh, in this particular scenario, I'm going to use a box cast. So a box cast is the same as a ray cast, but it's in the shape of a box. Now, going over the box cast, we can see that it got a couple of delegates, which is an origin size and an angle direction. I'm going to say box collider dot bounce dot center here i'm going to say sorry box collider dot bounce dot size for the angle it's zero for the direction is vector two dot down and for the distance i'm going to put it as 0.1 if you can actually just you know try and put the distance that you want and we're going to actually add a layer mask so i'm going up i'm going to make serialize field a layer mask called ground layer so i made it serializable because we need to access it through the editor in this case serialize field is very good not public now i want to make return because it's not void this is going to return something and we will say hit info dot collider not equal to null now in the update method i'm going to take the input of the user so i'm going to say input dot get key down Keycode.space. So when the player hits the space button, I'm going to make jumped equal to true. So what is jumped? Jumped is basically a bool. We are going to make it to initialize it as false, and here we're going to make it true. So why did I do this? Because we actually need to modify the physics through something called fixed update, not update. And here we'll say that if jumped, 
the player or b dot velocity would be equal to vector two dot up times jump force going up we are going to make a float called jump force and we are going to make it serialized for shit <clears throat> we are more going to make it serialized because we need to modify this through the editor we are going to um, edit and uh, see what which kind of jump force we are going to go for so jump count it's an int it's basically the amount of jumps you want and we're going to put it as zero so here we are going to make another condition we're going to say that jump count is bigger than zero and here we are going to minus one from the jump count and here I'm going to make another if statement we're going to say that if is grounded jump count equal to one and here of course we need to say that jumped equal to false so uh, this seems fine I'm going to save so we get the input in the update we're getting we are modifying the physics so fixed update we are checking that if it's grounded and heading back to unity running the game the box fell down because of gravity and uh, it's not actually jumping so I made a mistake in the code oh <coughs> it's not actually in the code I didn't set those so I'm going to go with uh, I don't know 8 so uh, there is another thing in the platform you are going to make add layer and you will add a platform layer going there you are going to set the layer to platform and here I'm going to run again hitting once hitting twice and there is no more once twice and there is no more so twice and no more so it's actually working fine so I made it for double jump you can actually go to the editor and say jump count equal to 2 I'm going to save this one I'm going heading back to unity I'm going to run and one two three and no more so you can add as much jumps as many jumps as you want and this brings us to the end of our video thank you thank you so much for watching so this channel is quite new i'm going to go over many things in unity game development and object oriented programming so if you want to support me and keep this channel going hit that subscribe button and like button and if you want to ask any question in particular then leave that comment in the comment section down below goodbye